of these are juices. What's the difference between them? Which one's better for you? I'm here to answer those questions today. Now I wanna start by saying they are both great ways to have a healthy beverage. They're also a fun way to eat the rainbow. I like to encourage people to eat a variety of colors with our fruits and vegetables because the different colors provide different amount of nutrients for us that can help our bodies thrive. Now let's start with juicing. Juicing is when we strip away the fiber from the fruits and vegetables, leaving just the juice that's full of vitamins and minerals. Now with smoothies, you're getting the whole fruits and vegetables, you're getting all the phytonutrients, but you're especially getting the fiber. And this is important because it's estimated that only about 5% of Americans get enough fiber in their daily diet. And fiber is important for our overall health, especially things like digestive health. Now, I love, personally love to do both of them. You know, in the morning, I love to have celery juice. It's very hydrating. It's also a great way to just get a good boost of energy. But then I love my smoothies as well because I can get in so much more nutrients. And you can even blend things that you can't necessarily juice. So in the blender, I'll add things like flax seeds and hemp seeds. You can add superfood powders. You can really have a big variety with your smoothies. So if you're trying to decide, should I get a blender, should I get a juice, I would definitely recommend the blender but like I said I do love to do both of them something else I love about juices is it's a great way to have some fruits and vegetables that you don't necessarily like to eat me personally I'm not a big fan of beets but I love a beet juice. It's my favorite way to have beets. You know, I sweeten it with things like apples and lemons. It's just very fresh and hydrating, especially with summer coming up. Both of these make great beverage options. Now, I have a lot of recipes that you can get on my website for these, or you can just get creative in the kitchen. You know, my one tip that I do like to give people is definitely taste it before you're done making it. So before you pour it out of your blender, taste it, see if you wanna change up any of the ingredients, maybe add a little bit more sweetness to it same goes for your juices as well now you can get all of this information at abc10.com slash meg